Uh, don't tell me we blew up. Game's kind of frozen here. What is happening? What just happened? I guess maybe the fountain's the nuke. So let's go ahead and hit that real quick. And... What? Uh, we're about to resume time. I think we might cruise over that building. Here we go. Oh. 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 Oh, it's coming back. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today we're going to be checking out some workshop creations. Now, fear not, our challenges will return next week with Moombo. Uh, he should be back from vacation, so we're going to do a couple more of those. So if you have any ideas for challenges, comment below. But yeah, I figured let's go ahead and check out some more workshop creations here today. Have a bit of fun, and I also have a little bit of an announcement to make. I do have a Discord server, finally, and that's going to be linked down in the description. Uh, if you'd like to join that, we're going to be discussing scrap mechanic, we we'll doing some Brick Rigs things, maybe some multiplayer sessions, and possibly some giveaways in there. So if you'd like to join that, that's down in the description, and let's jump right into these creations. Okay, so I figured let's go ahead and start this off with a bang. We're going to go ahead and check out Dave's Firework Display and Park. It's 663 bricks, fireworks, hot dogs, burgers, explosions, 4th of July. Uh, actually, I kind of missed doing anything for the 4th of July for any of my games. Uh, I actually still have my hands in real life, too, so that's actually a miracle here in Texas because we like to blow up everything on the 4th of July. So, I figured let's go ahead and try this here in Brick Rigs. The controls are hold D to push out Murica Smoke, S to push the patties down on the grill, W to launch the bomb, I mean, excuse me, I mean uh, the fireworks, C to change the camera, left mouse button to set off the nuke, I mean fireworks, I have a feeling this is going to blow us up. So anyways, this is made by Alex, and he's got a really long last name that I can't pronounce, so I'm not even going to attempt to do that. So let's go check this out real quick. Oh boy, I have a bad feeling about this. So we've got a little park here, you know, Joe's out. He's, uh, it looks like he's cooking some burgers here. He's probably burning them. I uh, got a little car here. I guess somebody's watching fireworks, even though, which way are they aiming? Are they looking off this way? Uh, fireworks are going to be behind you, so... What we have here, looks like we have two really big fireworks. Those are, those are huge rockets. We got those, we got, uh, looks like little mini bombs over here. And, ooh, looks like a fountain. Okay, so, how do we do this? I think, I think maybe we need to be setting over here. It's like a driver's seat. Okay, so we're in the driver's seat. Uh, let's see, Joe's over there. Oh, Joe's grilling. What the, what the heck, Joe? Okay, Joe's burning the burgers right now. He's apparently, he's, uh, he's trying to kill us with them, so. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, Joe's melting his face off right now. Let's uh, see what other buttons we've got here. Uh, what does D do? Oh, look at that. America Smoke. Actually, I didn't know you could do that in Brick Rigs. I didn't know you can change the color there. Okay, so we got that. Uh, you know what? I think maybe, maybe we need to do this at night. So let's go ahead and make the time go out. I mean, nobody wants to launch fireworks during the day. Uh, let's go a little bit of sunset here. This looks actually, this looks nice. So, I think we're ready to go here. Let's go ahead and we're gonna hit the W key and we're ready to launch. So, there we go. We'll let those get in the air quite a ways and then we're gonna go into a free cam. Now, I do apologize for the excessive use of what the heck? Uh, uh, I, I didn't do that. Um, okay, well, how did those get down so quick? You know, maybe I should have used the slow-mo. I'm trying not to use it as much. I know I used it a whole bunch last episode and it actually ticked some people off, so... Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, oh, uh-oh. I didn't do that. Uh, oh, we lost some more buildings. Okay, so we've destroyed a part of the city here. I feel like we need to reset that. Like, it's one of those things where you didn't actually get to see the fireworks. You were, like, turned around. Uh, let's, uh, let's do that one more time here. Let's go and repair. All right, we're good. All right, got all our fireworks back. Let's launch again. Go straight into free camp. Oh, those big rockets, they just go straight off to the side. And there they go. Oh, oh I think we lost the other ones. Okay, there go the rockets. One's over there. One's over there. I probably need to kill those thrusters. Oh, there goes some more buildings. This is actually kind of cool that people are doing this in brick rigs. So... Where did our, uh, where'd the main fireworks go? Hmm. I, I want to assume that they're coming down here in a second, so, I don't know. 
Let's go ahead and click the nuke button. So I guess maybe the fountain's the nuke. So let's go ahead and hit that real quick. And... What? Wait, what? Is the nuke the car? The tires just blew off the car, okay. Huh. I don't know how this thing works. That was actually kind of disappointing. Uh, let's look around. Does this thing... Can this still detonate? Huh? No. I think this thing's dead too. All right, well, that uh, that turned out a little different than I thought it would. We kind of blew up some things. You know, maybe we should move this. Maybe we should move it up on top of the building over there that's got the big fuel tank. We'll try this one more time. All right, so we're going to move over here real quick. Oh! <laughs> okay, that probably wasn't such a good idea, was it? Uh, so moving doesn't work with this creation. I, I guess I understand because of the loose bombs. Uh, maybe we should go out in the grass somewhere. Will this work? All right, yeah, we're good now. Okay, we got the little display. This is actually a little too dark for me. Let's go ahead and uh, put some light back here. There we go. So, yeah, we've demolished half the city with the fireworks. Let's go ahead and do one more launch here and see if we get a little bit different effect. There we go. Let's release. All right, so everything's going up in the air. The rockets are going off to the side. Uh-oh, uh -oh, these are coming straight back down. All right, <laughs> here come the rockets. Here come the bombs. Oh, <laughs> it just hit the fountain. That's neat. You know, I like that, but I think we need bigger fireworks here. This just isn't enough. So let's go find some bigger fireworks. Okay, so for our next firework here, we have a V2 launcher. This is made by Grouchy. He's got some instructions here. I'm pretty sure this launches like most of his other creations. I'm just curious, this thing looks really big, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be about as big of a firework as we can get here, so let's go ahead and spawn, wait, what the heck am I looking at here? Uh oh, oh, I think we're actually in it, okay, let's, uh, can we spawn it here? Uh, oh, oh, ooh, that's nice, okay, this is going to be a big explosion, that's actually really detailed, I like the way this looks. All right, so I figured, you know what, uh, the citizens of the city want to see a bigger fireworks display than what, we're, what we've been giving them, so I think we're going to launch this. I'm kind of curious, is this thing like filled to the brim with explosives? I really hope it is. Uh, this might be very satisfying to watch. Now, like I've been saying, I, I don't want to use too much slow-mo, but for a rocket, I think we're going to need it because these things are going to be kind of hard to follow. Uh, in just the normal free cam, so I need to probably slow it down and get in front of it before we actually watch this thing explode. So we're gonna get in a safe spot. The train is done pass by. And I think we're gonna launch from the grass area over here. All right, I think this is gonna be. This is probably a pretty good position. So we need to hold the Alt key. Uh, we're gonna raise this bad boy up. Actually, that looks really cool. Okay, so we've got that. This one actually doesn't look like it has like the decouplers on it. This one looks like it's got these arms and I think we release them. Oh, like that? That is cool. Okay, so we've got that going. Uh, let's go and inspect this just a little bit. So it looks like you can detach this trailer. This actually looks like an old World War II like half track and I guess this is the V2 rocket. I didn't realize this thing was that big, but yeah, so we've got that going. What else do we need to do here? Are we ready to launch? Is that a thing? Or oh, look at that. It's even got little arms that support the trailer. Okay, so we got those activated. Uh, we've got our little buddy here in the back. There's actually a guy with binoculars in the back. Uh, does he have a camera? Oh, he does. He's got a little camera. He's kind of staring at the window, but that works. All right, so... Uh-oh. All right, camera screwed up. All right, here we go. I think we are ready to go here, and we're ready to launch. And apparently, I am like... Oh, the cameras. Oh, it, the rocket's got cameras, too. All right, that's kind of neat. Okay. So, I think we're ready to go. I am going to slow down time just to track the rocket, and then we'll watch it uh, land. Alright, so we're going to hold the Alt key here, and we're going to hold 9. So, nope. Come on. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Alright, slow down time real quick. Let's go catch up with the rocket, and then we'll resume it. That thing has a lot of power. I don't know if we can catch this. Oh, I don't think we are going to catch this. This is kind of ridiculous. Okay. Uh, we're about to resume time. I think we might cruise over that building. Here we go. Oh. 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 Oh, it's coming back. <laughs> Whoa. There's pieces flying all by me. Okay. All right. So we overshot that a little bit, I think. 
So we need to aim down just a wee bit. Uh, let's go back to the launcher here. That is extremely cool. That is really, really impressive. So let's repair. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we don't want to cause a, a failure here just on the pad. We want to get the rocket out a little bit. So the citizens got a little bit of a fireworks display there. Kind of overshot the city a bit. So we're going to turn. I don't know if there's a way to swivel the whole rocket once it's up. I think you have to manually turn it with the vehicle. So about right there. Let's go in alt mode. Let's raise this up. Let's not go up that far this time. Maybe about to there. Let's release it. This is a really easy to control rocket. Uh, let's see. Hold the F, or actually the 9 key. Here we go. And we're going to slow down time on launch real quick. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't slow down time, because it changes everything. Oh, this is going to be bad. Yep, yeah, that was a boo-boo. Yeah, I, you guys were great about telling me about, you know, slowing down time actually changes everything physics-wise, and it just blew up the back of the trailer, so that was a dumb idea. It still looks cool, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was impressive. Oh, the destruction. Oh, my body is flying. Wow. Up, oh, up. Oh. Here goes the rocket. All right, ready, and resume time. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. Seems to be gone now. And here comes the train. All right, uh, let's do a reset there. No slowing down time until rocket's in the air. So let's repair. All right, no more slow-mo, Komodo. That actually kind of rhymed. All right, so let's go ahead and set this rocket. Oh, nope, nope, set it up first. Uh, that might be good. Um, let's see. What's the angle at? I think we're aimed right towards that building. So, no slow-mo. Let's go ahead and start it off here. Let it clear the trailer. There we go. Now we can slow-mo it just to catch up with it just a bit. And I'm about to release it and see what the full impact's like in real time. So, before it gets to that building, here we go. Say goodbye to the city. Whoa! <laughs> That was impressive! Man, I love destructions. Fireworks are awesome. That was cool. Uh, that didn't have as big of an actual explosion as I thought it would, but it devastated the buildings like the percussion just took out a ton of them. What does the damage look like? Oh boy, okay. Well, the only thing left standing in that little blast radius is the garage because you can't destroy it, but that took out more than a block. That was like almost four blocks there. Uh, the outer edge of the blocks is still fine, but that is impressive. I like that a whole lot. Kind of want to hit another building. Do I want to spawn that again? Or maybe we should go find some more fireworks to play with here. And uh, give the city the show that they deserve. So, yeah, let me go back into the garage and let me spawn out a couple more creations here. Alright, so for our final creation here, we have the Cruiser Limburg. This is a ship made by JT Schwarm. I believe I'm saying that right. Uh, this reminds me of possibly just a big tank, just in the shape of a ship. Oh. Oh. Wow, that is impressive. How in the heck did he do that? Alright, let's spawn this real quick. This vehicle is too big for the spawn area. I'm gonna ignore that. And... Oh. Oops. I forgot which spawn I was in. Wow. That is cool. Okay, hold on. I gotta look at this real quick. I, I just admire this. That is a piece of craftsmanship there. How do you do that with the angles? Uh, let's go to the inside. What? Oh my, that is... That's ridiculous. Alright, that took a lot of time here. I want to say a lot of these pieces are actually just for reinforcement. That's cool. Okay, here's the motor. It's got the V12 in here. It's got these pillars that are coming down. This is actually... This is something. I, I can't believe what I'm looking at here. This probably took a long time to build. Okay, so we've got that. <laughs> got big cannons on it. It's got a interior. Okay, there's no actual furniture or anything, but there is an interior here. Uh, here's the tower. Actually, where am I driving out of? Am I on the... Uh, I guess this would be the captain's quarters right here. Okay, so you can see me. Okay, so it's got a little detail here. And then you've got the lookout. I think it's called a lookout tower. It's probably... There's an, like an actual name for that, but... I don't know what it is. Uh, let's see. Does it... Well, I'm assuming it does drive. We're just kind of... We're wedged. I should have listened to the, uh... To the thing there telling me that we couldn't spawn this. Hey, we're actually swaying a bit. Nope, this isn't gonna work. Um, real quick, do the guns move? Oh, the guns do move. Look at that. 
All right. Let's see. Okay, that's cool. All right, so let's move this real quick. I want to see how this thing drives. Uh, okay, we're down here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, did we blow up? Uh, don't tell me we blew up. Game's kind of frozen here. What is happening? What just happened? Why did we just blow up on impact? Did we... We didn't spawn on the train, okay. Well, uh, that ship's already sunk. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's try this again. Okay, so I feel like we're in a little bit of a safer spot this time. Let's see how this thing actually drives. And of course, you know we're going to test this thing against the train. Uh, yeah, this is neat. I like how the propellers move. So I actually got a little more pickup than I thought it would. Okay, so we're going 35, 40 kilometers per hour. Uh, can we keep going here? Let's see if we can... Uh... Okay, I, I can't actually... I could fire... Oh, I broke my, broke my gun off there. Yep, still fires. So yeah, I could actually... Uh, would be neat maybe to have somebody else control the turret. I don't know if that's possible. But yeah, that's working pretty good. Up, oh, up oh, the train's faster than us. Bye, train. Actually, you know what? Get back here. We still can't destroy this train, which is really disappointing. I know they have a map now that you can uh, actually uh, kind of play with trains or create your own, which I need to really touch on that. I haven't really uh, explored that too much, but let's see how powerful these guns are. So, uh, oh, 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 nice. Oh, there we go. Actually, can we hit that gas tank up there? Getting close, a little to the right, a little to the left, a little down. Oh, oh, almost got it. Come on, gas tanks. Come on, explode. There they go. There goes that building. All right, that's pretty cool. That uh, that works rather well. He says this is like a work in progress version of it, so I'm assuming maybe he's gonna do some interior work or something. I don't really know. I mean, I don't know what else to do to this. This is actually really fantastic looking. Uh, definitely a big fan of this. All right, well, we know how we need to end this episode off here. We need to get hit by the train here. So we're actually going to do this in full speed because I know the uh, the slow-mo can be a bit annoying here. But yeah, this is definitely a awesome creation. I'm really looking forward to see where he takes this. Uh, this might even be something we can use for a challenge too. Uh, the things are uh, they're a bit slow though, so I don't know how much we can get out of these. Maybe if we spawned on uh, opposite sides of the city here. But anyways, here comes the train. It's going to run right into the side and oh, 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 say goodbye. Wait, oh, wait, what's happening, game? Game just froze. Yeah, that was a that was a big object to hit. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. We're getting like two frames. Two frames. Oh, oh. 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 Okay. I think the ship's coming back. <laughs> it's actually coming back. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this has got some wonky physics to it, so... Train hits ship, ship flies up, bounces off invisible wall on the opposite side, comes back and almost, almost makes it back into the city. I think we just bounced off the top of that building. And on top of that, it is still running. Seriously, Brick Rigs. And it still drives. <laughs> uh, I almost can't handle it. All right, up and we're gonna capsize. Really? All right, do the guns still work? The guns, we, we still working here? Nope, guns are, yeah, they're busted. Well, that was, uh, none of the, oh, and I'm gonna die when I get out of it. All right, and the ship's landed on top of me. Poor brick guy. Huh. Well, that worked out a lot better than I thought it would. That's actually, uh, that's an impressive creation. That bracing held up fairly well. But anyways, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Brick Rigs. Like I said, we are gonna return to challenges uh, next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely go check out the workshops of the creators we featured here today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Everything helps my channel. And uh, don't forget to join the new Discord server that we have going. I uh, look forward to uh, speaking with some of you guys. But anyways, hope you guys have a good day. And we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you.